Cause I pissed the wolf that nigga for 40 minutes straight With my shit, fuck up your face Said I was in the cult, I beat my The rumors have been floating around for years now The so-called gay and homosexual rituals in the music industry And predominantly in the hip-hop genre Why the hip-hop industry some may ask Because hip-hop is, or was, the ultra macho, alpha male, braggadocious music genre and wasn't scared to speak out against the government, the police and authorities. Many of us have looked up to people like KRS-One, Grandmaster Flash, MC Shan, LL Cool J, only to realise that these people ain't shit. The people who stayed true to themselves and others have faded out, never to be seen again. The ones that crave the fame and wealth are getting pimped by promoting negative music and or by performing blood sacrifices and homosexual rituals. Numerous people within the industry have come forward and have been blacklisted from the industry for speaking out against such rituals. Even people like 50 Cent have implied that Rick Ross, PDD, amongst others, have some secret gay situation going on. Look at how 50 Cent has been thrown to the side, a guy that sold millions upon millions of albums. Not many artists have had an impact on the music industry and pop culture like 50 Cent. Even though he's continued to keep relevant by being featured in movies and has a loyal fan base, he has been pushed to the side and has not been given that spotlight that the music industry had once put on him. People like Cassidy, Fat Joe, Maino, Jazzo have all spoken out against what really goes on in the industry. These niggas is garbage, man. They can't Cassidy's really rap. Problem. They not really in the streets. They not really piecing up new real bars. Boy. They not really doing the shit they say they Tell doing them. these raps. The only reason why you probably hearing them on the radio a lot and seeing they video a lot the money. is because they got like <laughs> little weird situations with niggas. I don't know if it's like a homosexual situation, some believing in a devil type situation, some going <laughs> against the grain situation. <laughs> niggas be doing any and anything they gotta do to get in position. I'm not willing to do that, so you might not hear me on the radio as much, but I respect myself and I get respect in the streets. That's why I go anywhere I wanna go. I just came back from Iraq, Kuwait, Moscow, Krasnodar, anywhere I wanna go, that's where I go and I get respect. Cause the type of nigga I am, you know what I'm saying? These niggas, they might be on the radio a lot, you might see they video a lot, but they don't get no respect. And when they come out in the streets, they be petrified. I don't want to live that type of lifestyle, and I don't want to be that type of nigga. So I'm a grind from the ground up, you know what I'm saying? It might take me a little bit longer, it might be a lot more work, I might not win awards and be on these videos and all that from the beginning, but at the end of the day, when I get there, I'm going to feel comfortable about it, and ain't nobody going to be able to take it from me. That's the way it really go. So Wayne do rap been grinding from the ground up. He ain't been doing all that little faggot shit niggas be doing to try to get in position either. You know what I'm saying? We grind it from the muscle. That's how we do it and that's how you supposed to do it. So everybody that's listening, that's an artist that's trying to get in the game, that's trying to do their thing. The game is getting smaller now because of the internet. It's the opportunity for the world to get music instantly without no distribution company without no record label without no ceo and no a and r like the game getting smaller it's an easier opportunity for people music to get heard so y'all can follow the same formula be real niggas and do it the real way opposed to doing it the fake way like these dudes do it you know what i'm saying that's real rap it's a good point it is a secret society right. that we know right. there are many secret societies that we know there are secret societies in the, the, the music business that we know the higher you get up the more homosexual it gets <laughs> that oh, we know oh, oh. <laughs> the fact the door listen, is open yo, listen, <laughs> that, 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 listen no this is not that, this no. is not a strike at homosexuality mm -hmm. i'm just saying the higher you get up further the doors off mm -hmm. the open up the rooms well, that, well, the funny that, the shit that's going on in the rooms Y'all fucking each other up there? Excuse me? Y'all fucking each other up there? It's a lot of shit going on, man. Like, I mean, it's, like, like, let's, let's keep it real. Like, I'm not into bashing no set of people. One of my favorite uncles was was a homosexual. You know what I mean? May rest in peace. He's one of my favorite uncles. So, it's not about that. I'm just calling it the way I see it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, in the, in the music industry, you have... I right, look at the trends, right? If you follow what's going on in the trends, Rappers have adapted homosexual homosexual fashion. Mm -hmm. The way the way some rappers dress, the way the gays dressed years ago. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. 
It's just a fact. You can't right. dispute fact. Right. Successful rappers are rap as it is now. Just, I'm just the coach of just rap. It's not just whether they're successful or up and coming. But you were saying it's because you got hired. It got I'm not talking about even rappers. I'm talking about the people in, in, in control. The higher you up, the executives and people pushing buttons, behind buttons. Do I think that they plan with boys? Yes. Some of them. Not all of them. I can't, I can't say exactly who, but I hear stories. You hear stories too. You've probably been in this business longer than me. And you probably been across the oh, storm of that door. You know? So it is. This is one of those a few weeks ago, yes. <laughs> yes. Come on, you need to sit down, man. Jazz O is the best. Secret Society with Jay Z, man. He's involved. He's involved. But he's involved with. He's involved with this shit, man. He involved with that play shit. Like, see, people don't understand. The science behind Satan, Lucifer, and God. And if you notice, he calls himself Jehovah or Hove. And before they started, before they started retranslating, you know, the, the New American version of the Bible, you know, Jehovah was known as a jealous God in the Bible. But I'm gonna give people the simple and general overstanding that all of those people, many of those prophets in the Bible, and even when you talk about these different deities in the Bible, they were not people. Even when you go into the Egyptian pantheon, like they weren't people. But as far as homeboy, like it's really a bunch of Masons. See, the whole Freemason thing is based on a lower level of understanding. Like the real secrets have never been revealed. They weren't supposed to be revealed. So all these people, they walking around like they know something for real, but they don't really know shit. You know, and he doing those little signs and all of that. Those are symbols that have been out there. They've been propagating them shits for a few thousand years. But number one, anybody who knows how magic knows that those shits don't have any power anymore. Number two, you know, um, everybody knows what they basically mean, like the understanding of it. Like, you know, as far as pyramid and stuff like that, that I'm not really going to go into. But I'm saying that simply to say that dude think he knows shit but he still don't, he still don't know shit. He could get as many degrees as he want, but it's just like trying to get all the degrees you want, but you still got a ceiling. He can't go but so high because the people that he worshiping, that he kissing their ass and letting them fill them up and shit, they don't know shit. They trying to find out every day from us. That's why they follow hip hop. That's why they follow the blues. That's why they follow soul. That nigga's nothing. That's my son, unfortunately. In fact, Joe went as far as saying that there is a gay mafia in the hip hop industry. But, but do you think they'll be in They're owned the by gay. There, I happen to think there's a gay mafia in hip hop. Right. Not A &Rs like Terry Myers have exposed the industry, and Terry Myers said that the artists are drugged up and videotaped doing homosexual acts, and then blackmailed with the footage so they can be controlled. I'm telling y'all, they fucking niggas around out here. Y'all, they are fucking niggas around. They give a nigga some shit. It ain't even what you think. You fuck around, wake up the Mars shit, ass nigga with a footy on, <laughs> and don't know what the fuck you just done did. I, I mean, real shit. Your motherfucker meat pistol fucked up and your ass hurting. You don't know what the fuck to say. You don't know who to tell. But this is what the game is going to. That's what it's going to. Then, here it is, it's time for a contract to come out. Nigga wanna sign you for five years, you like, nah, dawg. So you don't wanna sign with us? Nah, not for no, nah. Man, pop in the tape. Show this nigga what he did last night. <laughs> I'm serious. Dude, this real shit I'm telling y'all though. Pop in the tape. In an interview with Doggy Diamond TV, the videographer Choke No Joke spoke about the child molestation charges against the sick individual Africa Bambata. If you actually look back, you would see how fruity these guys were. But back to the Choke No Joke interview, he also speaks about how he would have been offered better job opportunities if he had performed some homosexual acts with an executive. But Choke No Joke refused to partake in such activities. A lot of us in the industry, a lot of us, we hit this brick wall where we get executives that try to sleep with us for us to move forward in the industry. Right? Thus, he hasn't received as much success 
that what he might have gotten had he went down the homosexual route. Rapper Nuri had even spoken about this topic, where he told gay agenda promoting DJ Vlad about the three doors you have to choose to maintain that certain level of success in your career. One door is going down the blood sacrifice route, another door is the homosexual route. The final door is just trying to make it as an artist with just your raw talent. And Nori says, after going straight and not accepting the rituals, he has never maintained that same level of success as he had previously gotten. When you get to a level of success, when you get 30, 40, 50,000 a show, you platinum, you're running across the world, there's, a, there's three different doors, right? There's three different ways to walk. There's to the left, there's to the right, and then there's straight. To, straight is your own, your own. Let's see if you continue this success, young man. Let's see if it was all about your skills, young man. Let's really see that. Okay. And you went straight. To the right, I'm not sure if that's the homo shit right there. And then there's to the left, I'm not sure if there's some sacrifice shit going on right there. I'm not sure because I went straight. But I was offered these doors. Is this your offer? I, I, some, some gay shit? I don't, no, 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 no. I, I'm saying that. To the right, when I seen it, those, those was those guys over there. You know what I'm saying? Those were those, those different people, which I have no problem. Also in the Choke No Joke interview, he spoke about Funkmaster Flex and exposed him for having to perform homosexual acts to get the success he has had. Flex, we know what y'all doing. I know what you did to get where you at, Flex. You can't get mad at me because I didn't succumb to that shit, my nigga. Yo, dog, I don't, I'm sorry you had to do what you had to do to advance in the industry. But I'm not here to get my asshole blown out. I'm not here to take it in the mouth. I'm trying to be a man. Let me be a man and be successful. This was also touched on by the rapper Nas back in 2002, where he said, I'm praying you for come them. out swinging. I'm praying for them. Big up, you know, to all of them. And I hope that they do well. Big up the flex. Stop taking so much kizak in his miz out. You know what I mean? Talking all that corniness. Taking money under the table. Mm. And play records. Mm. And dropping bombs. All corny and all of that. Change the format, dude. You know, I mean, flex. Look at flex, man. Look at his face, man. You know what I mean? Look at his. Listen to his voice, man. It's hey, corny, yeah. man. <laughs> Everybody know this, man. Okay. I don't know why you rappers be in his face acting like he's live or something, man. You know, you know why. What I mean, yo, Flex, on, if you listen to man. You know why. You know why, man. You know I told you, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All these dudes up here acting, taking money on the tape, play records, act like they the ones who know what music is. Nah, man. Now, I hope y'all enjoying the award show thus far. And I know it's going to be a lot of after parties after this big function. I know that y'all going to be drinking. I just want y'all to drink responsibly. I know y'all going to be on that promethazine and codeine, that scissor. But tonight, just fall back because I don't want y'all to end up in a gay situation like this. What's this? Hey, yo, I don't know how y'all gave Lil Wayne and Baby a pass after that, man. That's not the only thing I want y'all to be easy on. It's a rock vodka. It's a smooth vodka and all that. But don't drink too much of it. Or you might start thinking gay ass thoughts about other dudes like this. Oh, Rick Ross. Rick Ross. That's all I'm gonna say for now. Did you see that shit? We gotta see that in slow motion, man. Did you see the licking of Diddy's lips? The gleam in his eye? See, this is why I don't want y'all drinking too much Ciroc vodka. You're just despicable. 